we run from thunder Cause the sound of the crack and the slap to fast booty Is what we seek A pair of warm hands To hold, to grip our heads just like a vice Is what we need It's all we command in a world where the stakes can surely feel this high And I'm your beacon's light To keep you on your trail And I'm your cave in the night If trouble should be for your sale From the noise and from the flash Cause I will be your cover I will be your cover Under me take cover I'll always be your cover We're not of steel, we're not made of metal If we fall without a catch it'll be the end Cause even big hearts can't always wrestle Titanic, she went straight down by the head And I'm your beacon's light
How's it going, everybody? I'm Ben from Universal Audio, and welcome to the series finale. I know. it's The time has finally come where we are going to mix the song Every Man by Louis Cato, Will Knox, with producer, engineer, especial, my dear friend and mentor, Fab DuPont. How's it going, Fab? Another day in paradise. <laughs> right? That's every day, isn't it? Pretty much. Pretty much. I mean... <laughs> You know what else could you possibly want to do besides be stuck indoors and uh, and making music? <laughs> and that's what I'm talking about. Typing emails. Yep. Typing. That's how you do. Um, great. How are you doing? Doing fine over here. We're. Uh, I'm excited, man. This has been uh, what a process. The so for anyone, if this is somehow your first episode of Tales from the Switch. You got a lot of you got a lot, got a lot of catching up to do, but don't worry. This is you, you joined on a very very good day because uh, we're about to do the final mix on uh, on the session that we've been working on now for a couple months. Uh, but man, mm -hmm. the process of recording this has been super interesting. It, you know, so this is uh, Louis Cato is the artist, 
Um, mm-hmm. And he's been recording remotely in his apartment in Brooklyn. And yep. you were con- remote controlling his computer, recording and producing from your studio. Uh, mm-hmm. So we've gotten to see actually literally every track of this song getting laid down live in real time over the Absolutely. weeks. Absolutely. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty wild. And then, um, and then someone on this live stream, nobody in New York had the <laughs> idea of adding um, strings and horns mm-hmm. um, with Oliver from Spitfire. So we did that. Um, and then uh, Will Knox did background vocals. And it's, so now we have everything in yep. the session. Everything's assembled. Uh, We've got it's it's still not that crazy of a production, right? It's it, it, overall it's. I mean, some drums, some bass, some guitar, a couple of keys, lots of sh- lots. You know, the arrangement stuff added a lot of elements to it. Well, yeah, the way the way Oliver does his strings uh, with the Spitfire stuff is like there's a lot more tracks than you hear because mm-hmm. he's using different kinds of tracks for different kinds of special effects. Yep. But overall, this is supposed to supposedly a manageable um, mix. However, <laughs> you, you know, every mix is a rabbit hole. Like we could be mixing this for the next six years. Um, uh, but what we're going to do today is we're just going to, you know, try and make it feel good because mm-hmm. we, it's, it's been like rough after rough after rough and there's been no processing basically. Um, you know, if you look at the, at the mix, uh, the console, there are no, there's basically no plugins instantiated on anything. I got most of my tones the way there's a little bit here, like a delay, you know, and there's a noise reduction. Mm-hmm. on the on the acoustic guitar but i got um, most of my tones the way i wanted them even though we were doing it over zoom mm-hmm. uh, you kind of uh, you, you this... went with tools that you knew you i remember yeah. remember when we were doing those drums you're like cool 1073 it's like i know yeah. this will i know this will be good like yeah it'll, it'll sound fine you know the, those things are proven but like if you look at the lead vocal sound right now it's just the mic and whatever plugins i had when I tracked it, which mm-hmm. probably was the 1073 also. I, I don't remember. Um, so overall, um, this is a raw a raw session, just yeah. a raw track. So what I propose we do is we listen to a few bars just to refresh our memory mm-hmm. and then um, start just seeing what could be improved on this. Yeah. Um, yeah. So here's the top. Oh, by the way, so um, I um, this is uh, Luna 1.1, so I have versions. Yes. Um, and uh, versions and groups, as you can see at the bottom here. Um, so there's no groups right now in the session. But in the, in the versions, if I open um, session version here, uh, you'll see that uh, there's a version called Last Arrangement from Oliver. Uh, mm-hmm. And this is the, the string arrangement. And I started going a little bit looking at it um, to figure out, because where we left it with Oliver was like, Yo, this is great. You know, uh, thicken it a little and then send it over. <clears throat> and then um, I opened it the session and then he thickened it a lot because he's got lots of ideas and he's a creative dude. Mm-hmm. Um, so I, as you can see in gray here, there may have been some censorship um, and you may have to ready yourself for more censorship <laughs> in the near future. Uh, because um, as we clear especially clear the lumens and everything and everything becomes even more uh, present. Mm-hmm. I think we're going to find out that this, uh, my gut feeling is that it's still too much. So, yeah. uh, so that's why you see some stuff. So this version is called um, fab review. What I propose we do is we uh, save a new version, mm-hmm. uh, save the changes and call it. Um, so the way the versions work for those of you who, who don't know, uh, is uh, you can see in the title bar here, Every Man Main Session, that's the name of the session. Fab Review, that's the name of the version. Mm-hmm. So you can have a main session and you can go wild with the versions. Yeah. It's pretty awesome. Yeah. So let's call it something intelligent like Fab Mix 1.0. Oh, how's that? <laughs> I did not oh. see that one coming. <laughs> I'm, you know, I'm a genius when it comes to naming stuff. Um, so there you go. I'm gonna, Let's listen and go from there. Every man needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder 
The belly must have hunger. He needs the vultures. And every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he cannot climb to keep the head humble. The hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand. The suffering, the serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Every man. And then it repeats spot music. All right, so um, awesome. So my, I'm going to uh, set myself up for success here. Um, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert just for my entertainment mm -hmm. a mix bus. Okay. Uh, and um, actually, no, let's no. I decided against that because I wanted to show you a trick. That's what I want to do. <laughs> so. One of the main problems when you start mixing uh, like this is against staging. And so you often find yourself with, um, with too much gain because levels creep up, right? Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. And so um, I'm gonna show you some, something you could do to prevent yourself from that. And I usually mix through a mix bus, but um, let's, I think here for the sake of this exercise, we should use Luna in the way it was designed to be used. Yeah. And Luna is designed to be used to go to a mix bus, which is called main and it's built in and it's its own special object. Um, but um, because it's very difficult um, to, it's, it's, it, it, also for me, because I'm not 100% yet used to how uh, Luna behaves level wise, mm -hmm. uh, it can be difficult to project where, you know, say if I, if I go to the verse here, like this, and I solo the um, the lead vocal. And needs a nemesis. How loud should it be? <laughs> right? Yeah. You're like, you're, it's, it could be, loud, it could be, soft, it doesn't really, there's you don't no know. telling. Yeah, there's so, no telling, yeah. If you don't have that built into your body, um, mm -hmm. one good way of doing it is this. First, get a meter. So I'm going to use um, decibel, which is, I apologize, still not out, but it will be out no later than very soon. But that's my baby. I'm going to use my preset that I like. There you go. So this is going to give me an idea of where the level sits. And because I, I've had the privilege of being able to do this before, um, things tend to fall in place. But for the sake of the educational content in here, let's just look at where the track sits right now, even though the vocal is le loud. And needs the nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. To keep the soul. What do you know? It's just about right, but yeah, it's okay. That's so kinda, let's. That's, uh, the, that's the modern target, right? Is around like that third. You kind of minus fourteen LUFS is some that I mean for a record that's not gonna have to go compete with Katy Perry. Yeah, you're good. Mm -hmm. Um, so it's gonna get louder later when it grows up, but right now it's just a baby. Um, so it doesn't have to be so loud. Yeah. So I'm going to put decibel here, um, give myself a little bit of room because there's going to be stuff on my mix bus. And here's the trick. So if you don't know where you're going to be, and the number one problem when you don't know what you're going to be level-wise is headroom, right? Mm -hmm. Give yourself some headroom. So uh, the way to do that is I use a limiter and I just jack up the gain, which is what I did here. Right, so you can see that input of my limiter is at six dB before I've done anything. Yeah, so you're already kind of you're you're giving yourself this like this cushion that you're working into. It's already gained up six. So at exactly. the end of the at the end of the day, you could always start trimming this down and open more headroom back up. So what is this doing? This is doing this. If I have six dBs again on the, on my mix bus at the end, right? Mm -hmm. When I'm going to put my vocal, if I want, I'm, I'm not going to be as tempted to jack it up because I have these six dBs again. Let me show you. I mean, this this sounds very silly, but I promise you, it, it's a world of difference. Yeah. So, for yeah. example, if I if I bypass this 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 limiter, this is where my track is at. And needs the nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. That's very little, like 0.4 dBs. Basically, that's nothing. Mm -hmm. The point here is for me 
to have gain at the end of my range so that I'm not tempted to push the faders also because I'm going to use both the Neve console and the master tape here. I want to be able to hit those two things at the right level. If I give myself a lot of gain post Neve console and post master mm -hmm. tape, I'm not going to hit them as hard. Yep. Here in the Neve, you could use the trim to decide how hit how hard you hit the master tape, uh, but you don't have a button to decide how hard you're going to hit the Neve because the the Neve is being hit by the whole mix board. Mm -hmm. And so, so you'd if have you have, to, have, you'd to, have get... to go upstream and turn all take all your faders and grab them and bring them all down in order to trim into the Neve. Exactly, and we're not that kind of girl. We mm -hmm. we do that. We don't do things like that. So <laughs> we preemptively know that um, we are human and uh, labels are going to creep up and thus give yourself some headroom. Um, is that clear for people? Is that way too nerdy? I I mean, it's clear to me, th and this is this is kind of a trick I use too. Like I, I'm, I'm kind of in the same boat of like, I always start with a peak limiter. And funny enough, I use plus six as well. And then that's kind of my catch all at the end of pulling it back down if I'm if I feel like everything's getting pushed in too much. Um, but yeah, this is, hopefully you guys are getting this. This is gain, I mean, mixing is just really fancy gain staging, right? Actually, the plus six comes out of a simple thing is there's a band of gear, a hardware called Dangerous Music, mm -hmm. and that I, I, I use when I'm not mixing, you know, in Luna in the box. And the whole point of the Dangerous 2 bus is to give you six dBs of gain across the whole mix. Yeah. So that, yeah. that, that feeling is in my body from years of doing it. Mm -hmm. Also, the gentleman who comes up with the, all those designs was on this live stream. No, was on the ATR live stream, Chris Muth. Yeah. And uh, once he told me, he said, you know, Mixing is the art of losing gain with style. So, <laughs> I love like, it. yeah, that makes a lot of sense. It does. So, yes. Um, so, so this is where we're going to start. We're going to start with a limiter mm -hmm. on the main bus uh, with 60 dBs again. Now, if I press play, say I'm go to the chorus, and I want to see how hard I'm hitting that stuff, um, the the mix, the Neve, and the ATR. It's pretty wild how everything falls in place. It's amazing. Life is beautiful, <laughs> right? Just say so yeah. yeah. So you're just doing a little. Uh, what was it doing? Like one or a couple of dB tops on the limiter, but you can see your VU meters on the new summing and ATR were kind of right in the sweet spot. Yeah, I mean a little conservative if mm -hmm. for this kind of music because this kind of music you tend to hit a little hard. But I think we're gonna get there in a couple hours. So. Nice. Um, so that's where we're going to start. Awesome. The first thing I'm going to do, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, set up a um, a bus for all the strings mm -hmm. because that's a lot of management. <laughs> so, it's a lot of tracks to keep track of. It's a lot of track. Um, and uh, Looks like so that might have is, the vocals in it too. Yeah. There's the vocals, uh, the strings, uh, and, and horns, and the woodwinds. So, so Fab, as, you're, as you're folding these together, you know, when you were listening back to the mix, what what are the areas for improvement that you're hearing? Like what what is it that you're going to try? What's your kind of vision, I guess, for this mix? Um, well, this mix is pushes a lot of buttons, right? So I hear a lot of like the Withers um, vibe and I hear a lot of stuff like that. Right now, the vocal is so loud, right? And also the vocal is ultra dry and um which is not necessarily a problem, but for this, because the strings are pushing us into a more romantic vibe and because the, the, the reverb is built into the strings. Mm -hmm. So my space lowest common denominator is how the strings sound. Mm -hmm. So I could decide to have su the, keep the strings super wet and keep the rest super dry and I would give it a modern vibe. We may do that. Uh, but the first thing I hear is the drums need to have, basically everything sounds great. I just need more vibe. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what I'm looking for. I need more vibe and I want to use the sense more. Like I want to not have more of them, but I want to use, to use them to better effect mm -hmm. um, for the drama to go, get into the chorus. That's it. It's like vibe is what I'm looking for. Mm -hmm. um, I, the way it sounds right now is, is cool, but it's not inspiring. What can we do to make it more inspiring is the, the question. So I'm thinking... One very inspiring thing is to be able to lower all those strings with one fader. That would be super inspiring. <laughs> yep. So, uh, so, so inspirational. <laughs> yeah, very inspirational. 
So I'm going to call, I'm going to make a bus called all strings. Um, and that bus is going to go to our main. There you go. It's got the Neve on it. Why not? Um, so that's one thing. Mm -hmm. um, then I'm probably going to um, do the same thing for the drums. The way I want to treat this is um, I'm going to imagine um, if I were working on a, on a classic console, right? So I would probably have all drums bust down to something. It may actually be mono, but in case, because it's 21st century, I'm going to make it stereo. <laughs> Not gonna, you're not going to commit to the complete uh, old school one tr one mono drum no. track. No, that's what Vance would do, uh -huh. um, but um, but um, I'm not going to do that um, because um, I don't know. We may end up in mono, but right now I just I have the stereo information. I think no, they're all three mono. Actually, maybe we should do it in mono drum. No, I have an idea. Yeah, Hold no, on. Yeah, don't limit yourself. It, it's it. Yeah, it really it doesn't change idea. that much, right? Between right, it's... No, no, no. <laughs> check it out. He's so good. It's just not even fair. Uh, so I just want to sample um, that. And make like ten songs. Yeah. That that yeah. If this were the the seventies, this pocket would be sampled seven million times in the next thirty years. Uh huh. Exactly. Uh, yeah, it's pretty wild. Uh, so I want to make a loop here, so I don't have to worry about music and just focus on sound for a moment. Well, I'm thinking. So if you if you revert. If you try and imagine Bill Withers like use me or or that era or lean on me and stuff like that, mm -hmm. there are the two ways. Either the room the drums were super ambient, um, meaning that you could hear the room around the drums, right? Like literally the studio they recorded in, or um, the 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 snare bled into a ugly sounding spring, right? Mm -hmm. Or some like broken low rent. Um, piece of metal used to make reverb with so maybe we could think of a, a hybrid of these two versions like for example um i could uh let's see if we make a new how can i am i gonna use oh yeah, i have an idea all right check this out so one of my favorite plugins by the way i still organize my sessions like i have been organi organizing them in Pro Tools for the longest time mm -hmm. so i'm gonna make two um two buses stereo and both with the Neve summing on and um, one I'm going to call let's just call it ocean and then one I'm going to call spring mm -hmm. okay on the ocean one we're going to have the ocean away space did not see that one it, coming <laughs> you know yeah. curveballs that's curve how ball. I yeah exactly you're just you're yeah. Yeah. changing yeah. Right. Call so, it ocean and put the EMT on it. And then uh <laughs> then really confuse everybody. Thanks. <laughs> put a spring. So um UA has this great um, unbelievable sounding uh spring called the BX20. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna start there and then we'll see if it gives me what I want. Um so those are those are gonna be my 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 main reverb. And I also have something called space. I'm gonna change the name of it, uh, which is the capital chambers. I'm gonna call that. Uh, something else. I'm going to call it sauce. I like sauce. So we have the sauce, the ocean, and the spring. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, and then we may have some more stuff, but let's start with that. I'm going to go back to the drums. And before I even create tone on the drums, if I want to see if maybe all I'm hearing would be um, just space. So I'm going to put the drums in the, uh, in the ocean. <laughs> Uh, here we go. And oh, do you have do you have solo? It looks like you may have XOR turned on. Oh yes, it is very possible. So this is a this is a feature, not oh, a it's, bug. It's, oh, it's on it's latch. latch. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah, you can you can select the solo modes between those two. So let's save this. So, 
already totally a different vibe. Let's see what happens with the closer mic. Mm -hmm. It's a little too beautiful. Uh, let's make it darker. out remember um lewis recorded this in his basement with eight feet ceiling and yeah I was, I was just about to say that that takes it out of takes it out of the bedroom and literally puts it in the middle ocean way i feel like it's a little too present too real Just, just to make absolutely sure, let's check out some other mics. So C12s uh, in cardio, C12s in Omni. That's awesome, but it's too big. Let's see mm -hmm. if I get... Oh, maybe you should try the other room, the smaller room. Let's see. Just thinking about it, thinking about it, thinking about it. Not working for me, cardio. It sounds so real, it's insane. Um, <laughs> so I have my options are C12A, C12A cardio. Oh, that's too nice. Uh, these. Careful with the phase of the, the bass drum. Maybe. I like that. I like that a lot. This is cool. Mm -hmm. uh, we haven't explored this. I'm literally starving um, the Neve of headroom. Mm -hmm. I'm literally putting well, pressure this, on the Neve. The the left the way that the clockwise or sorry counterclockwise that way that's opening it and that's closing. Yeah. See, this has the nice compression and not compression but like transient thing. And then there's the low uh, right, the low uh, impedance. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I like this. So, so far we have no EQ, we just use that. I'm curious to know what happens if uh, maybe I could use an ATR here. Not my vibe, let's go to 250. It's not working for me for this. Not what I'm looking for. They were actually more direct than there was not that much um, transient shaving on those records. And I want to invoke those records. And also, I want it to sound a little modern still. So, more bass drum. dig this so um let's see if i can if i can remove the a little bit of this kind of cardboard at 200 and give it a little bit of the joy in the super low Ooh. 
Shit, lower the problem. Okay, I dig this. I think it sounds great. And then let's see what the bass does. So I'm moving the, the overhead a little bit to the right. Mm -hmm. And then I'm going to probably balance that with the guitar and leave the bass in the middle. Okay, this is great. The next thing I'm going to do is uh, I'm thinking, first, one of the things I loved on those Bill Withers records is like this, like obnoxious, relentless, um, and absolutely senseless use of spring reverb. <laughs> Makes no sense, but it's beautiful. Right. And I know it's against the rules to put reverb on bass. <laughs> uh, some people got beheaded for less than that. Um, but. just opens it it's great so i'm gonna do that mm -hmm. so sometimes, i had sometimes sometimes you're allowed to break the rules especially if it kind of you know with a simpler mix like this right it kind of actually helps the bass to give it some left right a little heft over here and also side. it just puts it with the drums plus you can break the rules as long as no one's watching <laughs> well i got news for you fab <laughs> there's, there's no a lot of watching. people watching there's a lot of people watching uh, as a reminder we had i had put this on the bass this is a, uh, the vertigo uh, distortion thing. Mm -hmm. So without the vertigo and the bass and the reverb. With the vertigo. That sounds nice. We could see what happens if I push the saturation on the, the tape. Quite lovely, and then with yeah. the bass, with the reverb. Just to show you, for you can identify it. This is what the space I'm putting on the bass is. Okay. Get rid of. Um, instead of using the solos, I'm going to mute the other stuff. Um, so all strings gone, vocals. What's then, is this kind of your preferred way? Do you prefer kind of muting everything and then opening things back up, or kind of working? It depends. It depends on the on the track load. Mm -hmm. Like if it's easy for me to navigate, I just I want to be able to move quick and mm -hmm. be intuitive. Uh, in this case, for example, what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a group for all the background vocals, like this. So groups is Command G. Mm -hmm. uh, which is a tremendous, tremendous choice. Um, back box group. And here you can decide if you want the group to apply to editing. So for editing, for mixing or for inserts. And when you apply for inserts, it syncs up parameters on the plugins, which is nice for background vocals. Mm -hmm. If you want to high pass 25 traffic of background vocals, you put the same, poof, you put the same plugin on, on the same insert and then you high pass the first one and they all follow. Is nice. It's very, it's very convenient. Very nice. Very nice. Okay, so let's see. Uh, mute, yeah, mute those guys. 
and um, uh, the selection group, by the way. So now Luna has both, you know, Pro Tools style groups where where you can, you know, even if they're not selected, you can still apply processing to those and mute in solos and stuff like that. And also selection group, logic style, when you select those three things, if selection group is on, I can move these together just for this moment. So it's actually, they managed to make it the best of both worlds. It's nice. Um, so I'm gonna mute the oohs. Let me make sure, I think these all go to the ooh. The ooh in ooville. Mm -hmm. Um, Almost all of them. Looks like two of them skipped out on the bus. Somehow they decided to do their own thing, but <laughs> this no. Is, it's actually kind of one of my one of the things I love about the output assignment in Luna is the fact that it has the color on it as well. Yes, color, color it makes key. it so easy to, to tell what's going to your main and what's not. Absolutely. The guitars for now is to the bongos. So the bongos definitely need saturation. And the reason why they need sat oh pardon. The reason why they need saturation is to make them less real. Mm -hmm. You know, we want everything to have a sheen and a vibe and a, and a distance of sorts. I think that the ocean is going to help on this. Well, the ocean too, it's going to just kind of help bring all these elements together into the room. It, it's physically putting them in that room and ocean way together through the mics. Yeah. There was also a tendency to put springs on them, unsuspecting percussions. <laughs> but it's another bongo. Yeah, I do. That's interesting. <laughs> Is it a copy-paste? It might just be a version thing. It's a version thing. Wow, versions moved. I think somebody I sent this session to moved my cheese. Mm -hmm. uh, this looks edited. Let's use this one. Mm -hmm. I remember that, oh, Phil. That's a, bongo. that's a nice bongo, right? Mm -hmm. uh, so that means that this is probably V5. There you go. And then this one, where does it become tempo? There. Here. That synth hit, I'm gonna use the hell. Like synth hit. <laughs> I was like, those have uh, those have been kind of tucked in the entire time we've been listening to the rough. Yeah. I, I knew they were just waiting for their day to, to jump out. Yeah, the, today's the day. <laughs> See, like how close this is, mm -hmm. but I can push it back.
those cents for now. So that extra oomph that added at the bottom of the ocean, now that I'm the bottom of the ocean, <laughs> now that I am, I am putting so much stuff in the bottom of the ocean, uh, including myself, um, this is too much mm -hmm. and it's making it muddy. Like this better. This is my mix bus. I'm talking. I'm looking at right now. Let's look at 250 instead. Like 15 better, half inch. A little too nice. One inch. Better, quarter inch. I dig this. Yeah. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every. That's the part where we use a de mm -hmm. Uh The precision de by a brand we know well. Prints in the sand, prints in the sand, prints in the sand. Uh, let me solo this. It has a solo button. Okay, remove the solo button. Prints in the sand. Without. Prints in the sand. With. Prints in the sand. Could even use a tiny bit more. Prints in the sand. There you go, that happened. Mm -hmm. But it took us so long. <laughs> and then, so if we picture um, the record, and then we have the drummer say here, and then the bass player hanging here, and then I want Lewis like way up front, right? Mm -hmm. Playing his guitar, playing his guitar. So um, let's see. Um, and because I, I like mnemonics, I like things to be easy. Uh, I put the ocean first, and then I put the spring second. So I'm going to put the sauce third uh, in the uh, ox sense. Gotcha. So that's the strings. Um, so Lewis is here in red, and I'm going to put the sauce on like this. Prince in the sand, suffering. You serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Hmm. And that's the curse of every man. So we're using chamber four because Al does that. But what if we listen to the others for a change? Mm -hmm. Prince in the sand. Suffer to bright five. Prince in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Seven. Prince in the sand. Suffering. I'm not get. it's just not, I don't know, not what I want for today. I've used this on 800,000 mixes, but <laughs> not today. Uh, let's what try. Is, what, uh, what is it about it that it's not feeling for you today? I, um, it feels a little too hi-fi. Mm. It feels like, um, if I, oh, I know you. You know what I mean? It feels like, yeah. hey, listen to me. I'm here. I'm here. Listen to me. So I don't want that. Um uh, why I don't want it, I don't know. But let's try this guy. That's the other show fire happening thing. Mm -hmm. Prince in the sand, suffering. You serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, this, uh, there's no right or wrong. Yeah. And uh, I'm sure there's a bunch of people who say, well, you kidding? The jam is so much better, dude. <laughs> Uh, get a day job. Uh, hold on, I just did something stupid. Let's put the chambers back. I want to compare us both. Yeah, this is my day job. You can just undo, undo. Uh, plugin assignments are part of the undo queue. I, you know, I probably I haven't. I know you get so you get so used to it not being that way. What What did he just complain about? Uh, because you're still you have arm mode turned on, so it's still trying to load those into the console auxes. We uh, don't have to arm anything. Like, yeah. in the sand. This is a no arm environment. Okay, so let's see. 
footprints in the sand Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to un- I have both on right now, uh, so Prints in the sand The A, I never, I can never get A to go Prints in the sand But I can always get B to go, let's give C a choice Prints in the sand Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand Oof, mm. just love it. Hold on, Lewis just wrote. <laughs> Real time mix feedback. Um, we, Lewis, why don't let me ruin your song and then come later to make your comments, like in 30 minutes or 40 <laughs> minutes. How's that? And I love it when I can talk to you, but you can't answer. <laughs> of course. Well, I'll put this here. You can answer here, answer here. Uh -huh. uh, so Prince in the sand. Everything is going so fast. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to. I, I don't know. I just dig this. Um, let's listen to the chambers again. Prints in the sand. Sorry. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. You know, it's just too dense. Mm -hmm. So, no. This is prints in the sand. Yeah. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Let's keep it there for a second. And then um, I need a little bit of steadiness. So I'm going to use probably one of these guys. Prince in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Every man needs an element A fear that he may lose control uh. I have another idea for the reverb. So this is where you decide basically what um, decade your uh, record lives in, right? Mm -hmm. So with this... Prince in the sand Suffering You serve a purpose that I'm yet to and you and you know when they just got those reels like wow this is awesome um and then what if we did something Prince in the sand suffering you serve a purpose that i'm yet to understand Prince in the sand suffering you serve a purpose that i'm yet to understand let's try b Super short. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Prints in the sand. Sounds like this so you can hear it. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. The sauce. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that without prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. So that gives it a more modern vibe. But then we can have the ocean mm -hmm. a little bit. Prints in the sand. Suffering, you serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Every man needs an element. A fear that he may lose control. Uh, to keep the heart sacred. Escape the mazes, you must be vulnerable. Escape the mazes. Um, so, um, 
we changed that one word. Can't hear it. Uh, so that's is all working pretty nicely. Um, do we have any questions that I should address? Did I go too fast on something? Jamie um, says, put the capital it? back, Fab, LOL. Uh, yes, absolutely. I'll, I'll put the capital punishment back <laughs> on something. No, uh, a lot of people really did love the the tip that we did right at the beginning with the limiter. As uh, yes, mix. There was a bunch of people who were like, "Oh, they they've used the mix bus trick before of having a bus before, but uh, this trick of you know starting with the limiter already kind of cranked up a bit to you, to give yourself that headroom." Uh, people are really really dug that trick. Um, okay, so the the thing is, the simpler the better. Mm -hmm. Unless you are going for something, you know very particular the simpler the better and then luna gives you these colors the atr and the neve summing that already do a lot of what uh <clears throat> we spend a lot of time doing maybe in uh, in uh with plugins in other packages the fact that it's built into the mix bus here um, it's important that you teach yourself to how luna feels gain stage wise and i'm still learning because i, I worked for and i still work in pro tools for some stuff um you know it's 15 years of mixing in Pro Tools. So when I move a fader in Pro Tools, I know what's going to happen. I feel it. I don't even know. I just feel it. Mm -hmm. Like, oh, the vocal's too soft. There's no discussion of like, oh, let's just raise it 1 dB. I just know because of the mix bus and everything, I, f I know I can raise it 0 0.2 and I'll be where I want. Yeah. It takes a while to learn those things. Mm -hmm. And it's important that you give yourself the ability to learn in good conditions. And so um, lack of distortion is a great great situation to be able to learn how something works. And yeah. so um, hitting the Neve summing too hard or hitting the, hitting the A2R too, too, ATR too hard is not a good look. Mm -hmm. And so if you give yourself that gain, um, you're able to really listen to how everything works. Yeah, it helps, encu getting... helps encourage you to stay in the, in the little bit cleaner side of both of those. Because yeah, yeah. What, I hear exactly what you're saying of like, you know, we're so used to one-to-one -one moves, right? Where like, make a fader mm -hmm. move over here, it's exactly what you get over here. The nature mm -hmm. of Neve summing in the ATR is that they're nonlinear. They don't they necessarily, exactly, they push back. Yeah. So you yeah. put you push a half dB into it, you're getting kind of a half dB, but plus some saturations, maybe trimming some transient, like you're getting a slightly different response back out of it. So you, you really, you do have to be so much more conscious of how you're going into those. Until it becomes part of your consciousness, like mm -hmm. naturally, you know? I'm not there because I haven't been using it um, long enough for me to have the same automatic feel. However, there's this warmth and this instant gratification of working this way. And um, that's why if you notice my mix bus, there's basically nothing. Yeah, I was like... The need. And it still sounds it sounds bananas. So let's actually get a vibe for from, say, the top, where we at right now. Every man needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures A bit too much compression maybe? Let's go to the first verse Man needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross The soul in wonder, the belly must have hunger, he needs the vultures. And every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he cannot climb. To keep the head humble, the hands from trouble, he can't be comfortable. And needs a nemesis A desert that he cannot cross So on the guitar Oh, full crash DRX8 There we and, go, your, uh, um, your mic just came back 
yeah so the rx60 noiser um uh, that i have oh oh the dialogue, the dialogue for the rx60 noiser is not plugged in that'll I do it bad bad children bad children hold on <laughs> let me plug that in over there sorry we had to denoise something in the other room and daniel's my rx6 um so i'm gonna plug this in and life is gonna be great again <laughs> All right. Uh, so while Fab, while Fab's plugging that in, I see uh, so you guys you guys have a couple of questions about prefader sends and why to not use prefader sends. Uh, yeah. If if you're anything like me, Fab, it's just it's a more of, it's one more thing to keep track of that if you move those faders, you don't necessarily change the distance or how much is being thrown into the reverb if you're using a prefader, right? Right. So the thing with prefader sends is they are designed to be so that the, uh, the amount of reverb or whatever you're sending with a fader is proportional to your level. Mm -hmm. um, so if, um, if you go pre-fader, you keep raising your vocal, but your reverb stays at the same level because it's pre-fader. It doesn't listen to how much more, how much louder the vocal is. So in, in theory, um, the default should be post-fader. Mm -hmm. um, now, um, those of you who've seen me do things like this before, um, let me see where we at. Oh, look, we lost nothing. Life is good. Um, so that's because Luna saves all the time at all times. Uh, yeah. Let me see if I can open it now. So much happier when you have there your There we go. <laughs> when, yeah. it has, when it has um, its license available. Yeah. Um, so basically, um, if you've seen me mix before, you know, and I, I was about to do that, you know I use uh, post fade. Um, or pre fader sands to do parallel sands for parallel compression. Why? Because I like to mix, have a different mix into the parallel compressor than I do um, in the in the regular bus. Mm -hmm. um, you could also use pre fader sands if you want to do um, uh, special effects. Yeah. Where you sand so much into the reverb, and then you control the presence of the um, the direct signal. But overall, it's probably easier. Um, to understand, to keep track of what's going on, and to be aware of what you're doing, if you keep your um, f uh, sense post fader. Mm -hmm. Yep. At least yeah. that's the way it works for me. Yeah, um, which make, makes total sense. And that, yeah, the the goal here is to to keep track of what's going into what, keep track of your level management going into those things. But that being said, there are some really good times to use pre fader yeah. as as fab mentioned i'll show you a pre fader sand trick in a second mm -hmm. but let's let's go back to where we were and needs a nemesis a desert that he cannot cross i really dig the echo but i think it needs um it needs a little bit of uh, ocean He must have hunger. He needs the vultures. And every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he cannot climb to keep the head humble, the hands from trouble. He can't be comfortable. Mm -hmm. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand And that's the curse of every man Every man needs an element A fear that he may lose control The hot Maybe it'd be interesting. I'm sorry, I'm getting lost. I should tell you what I'm doing. So, uh, the um, I'm getting lost in the music. Um, so the the here I was just trying to create an image, like a, a just this tiny little changes. Where is this going to be? How far is it going to be? You know, lower the bass drum a little bit. Uh, the bass drum now that things are falling in place with the guitar, I felt could its presence could drop in the spectrum a little, not have so much of this and more like that. Um, and so that allowed to make the, the mix taller. Um, and, um, you know, 
Is the bomb going to the right place? I don't think so. I think we could do something, but I'm curious to know what happens if we give a little bit of Fairchild vibe on the drums. Mm. So this is in solo without the Fairchild. too much faster smooth thing, things out quite a bit let's see and need the nemesis a desert that he cannot cross And needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. And needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. Puts it together neatly. Um, I like that. Mm -hmm. Um, so we're gonna keep that like this. Um, it does what I thought the master tape was going to do, but it didn't in this particular case. Uh, let's go to the chorus and look at the other guitars. Um, let's see. Just do that. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand. Suffering the server. So I'm going to make a. Let's make a chorus guitar group mm -hmm. and make it so that the inserts also speak like this. And then um, I'm gonna put, what would I put on this? Let's see. Well, first I would put the 800 for sure. What's the, and what's the 800 doing for you? Saturating transients. That. Check out the presence and how real it sounds. Mm -hmm. With it's just, it's just a little dreamier. I just mm -hmm. I don't know how to explain more. Let's see if, if the two fifty is better. You never know; it might happen. this on the chorus the vocals is as getting a little buried so the temptation is to go raise the vocal mm -hmm. but if we could try and not do that maybe we would mm -hmm. achieve something Happiness, a footprints in the sand. suffering to serve a purpose that i'm yet to understand what if they had too much reverb you never know it could happen Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. That's the curse of every man. And I like how things become more present after checking out. Happiness has left their footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Without the reaver? Happiness has left her footprints in the sand. Suffering. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. That's the curse of every man. Happiness. 
I'm digging this. I'm yeah, digging this. That's really it's painted back wall. The vocals is not buried. It's op it opens up the chorus, but then when it goes back to the verse here. That's the curse of every man. Every man needs an element that he may lose control. I think this a lot. Yeah. Uh, the, yeah. Vo the vocal needs just a little smidgen more presence. There we go. And that's the curse of every man. Every man needs an element. A fear that he may lose control. Hmm. Uh, to keep the heart sacred. Escape the mazes, he must be vulnerable. Mm -hmm. Happiness has left her footprints in the sand. A suffering has a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Even what I get is some the bottom of the bong the bottom of the bongo is bothering me so if I listen to it in the sauce with everything that's the curse of every man I that on the choruses happiness has left a footprints in the sand suffering has a purpose that I'm yet to understand and That's the curse of every man Even though I say I want the best What I get is so much less It's my utmost Okay, so that's a different universe Let's, let's stay in our original universe to start with um, So, top Every man needs a nemesis. I'm gonna have to write that vocal or I'm gonna have to compress it a little more. So, um, because right now it feels too loud. Mm -hmm. I want it to be more tucked in, but later it didn't feel so loud. So we'll see, just let it sit for a second. Uh, let's listen to that synth. <laughs> Love it. I don't know. I think Capital Chambers. <laughs> <laughs> but this time you're just inserting it right on the track. Yeah, because I wanted to. I'm probably going to screw with it in unspeakable ways. Ah, uh, that's what I like to see. Hmm. The wet solo button. Yeah, yeah. I'm just. It needs to cap to calculate for a second because it's IR. Oof. That's ridiculous sounding. It really sounds like it. It's crazy. <laughs> um let's try this. Yeah, dark. Okay, so now. Without. With. Maybe even less decay. Which is no longer a capital chambers, but it's fun. Mm -hmm. Every man needs a nemesis, a 
desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures and Every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb So I'm going to put the chambers last. Uh, I propose that we... Um, try the Moog filter for that one segment. Mm -hmm. This is what I had in mind the whole time. Um, and go here and find this spot here. Cultures. Every man. And then uh, make it, let's find the Moog filter and find the cutoff and just make it be something special mm -hmm. like uh would i go from zero i don't think i would go from zero come on definitely with this uh sorry there and um, maybe it's for zendo Vultures. Everest. Get rid of the grid. I'm not a good grid person. Um, it's difficult for me to work with grid. <laughs> you and grid don't get along. It's, it's not really ah, it's not really my um my thing, and I'm still getting used to this uh, automation system mm -hmm. that I am learning, and I don't want this point. I don't want to name this. Um, let me get rid of this time. Are you trying to delete that point? I'm trying. Uh, con hold control. I click on it. You'll uh, see the little, uh, thing. You get the eraser. There you go. Yep. Uh, <laughs> uh let me do my thing. <laughs> see, that's the thing about learning stuff and also switching. This is what I want. He needs the vultures. Exactly what I want, but not so drastic. As for example, like this, that goes from here and maybe here. He needs the vultures. Every man needs an ever. He needs the vulture. It holds the nemesis. A desert that he cannot cross. Oh. To keep the soul in one. The belly must have hunger. He needs the vultures. Every man needs. Yeah, this is gonna be bananas. Yeah. Um. So, but it can't go so far, and he needs to wait a little bit, and then go. The nemesis. Every man needs. A little lower. Come on. This one I wanted for Christmas. And here. So this is this could be a little more um gentle. The energy should be later. Even later. Damn, it's gonna go. Yeah, the drawing drawing gets hard once you have once you have points in there. If you're trying to draw next to the points, it just wants to erase them. I got it. There you go. Mm -hmm. Happiness and got their footprints in That's great, and then there's this one. Oh. Third time we hear this, so we have a little, uh, we have more leeway as to what we're going to do. And this one should go up. But still.
strings behind this, so that's gonna be rad. Hunger, he needs the vultures. Every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he cannot climb. There's one more thing. There's a pad here. Is that I'm yet to? That's the curse of every man. Happiness has left a footprint in the sand. A suffering, a suffering. By the way, for those of you who weren't there that day, this is Shane. It's, it's just a preset in there, right? So good. So uh, pretty. So I'm curious to know. I think this is a job for sauce. Um. Suffering serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. That's the curse of every man. So much less is my utmost ain't enough to call humanity. And every time I reach the top, my motivation all but stops. And I go right back to the source of my insanity. Happiness is left a footprint in the sand. Suffering is serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. needs a little um maybe the the to do that it needs a little kind of like girdle corset control thing <laughs> can't take it um so not that um or let's just try a classic mm -hmm. thing actually it's probably more 11 26 let's try Uh, let's um, let's try the eleven twenty six, the A. So we, in, in a sense, what you're trying to do with the comp adding some crap compression or the you know try to saturation and and to just have it be kind of like a band in the middle and steady, mm -hmm. so it doesn't do that thing it does. Yeah. Happiness has left. I'll sort of it so you can hear. Gotten closer. Happiness has left a footprint in the sand. A suffering is of a purpose that I'm yet to understand. That's the curse of every man. Happiness has left a footprint in the sand. A suffering is of a purpose that I'm. of the two is cool let's see if some uh, distance would help ring serve a purpose that i'm yet to understand that's the curse of every man even though i say i want the best by the way 
Uh, I just because I'm like zoning in onto the the music, I hit Command S because whenever something feels good, I hit Command S because I've been working in Pro Tools for so many years. Mm -hmm. That's what you do. So <laughs> to make sure so you're able to. Are you saving yourself? That. Are you saving bookmarks along the way then as you're doing that? Or are you just dismissing it? Um, I, I just dismissed it, um, but I think it would be interesting to have this discussion because I get questions um, on so many channels. What is the difference between a version and a bookmark? Mm -hmm. Good question. Thank you for asking. Um, well, basically, it's for it, my vision. Don't quote me on this. I don't have a UA t-shirt. I don't have a black t-shirt. Um, but the way I look at it, I don't know what um, Connors and, and Lev's and Ryan's vision was, but for me, it's two levels. I, I'm using them as two levels of consciousness. So, you know, when you you finish your you finish your mix, right? Mm -hmm. And you have to do stems, mm -hmm. uh, and so you have to do an acapella, and then you have to do a um, a uh, instrumental, and then you have to do a TV track, and then you have to do you know, so. Uh, and then sometimes you have to do a new version of the mix. And then sometimes, so often in, in, in most traditional um, packages or DAWs, you have to save a new version of the, of the session file yeah. uh, for every one of those things. And so it's, it, it can be messy here on your hard drive, especially like, and also it's very depressing. You go to your hard drive and you have 32 <laughs> versions of the same song. It's just horrible. So, um, so the way I function, <clears throat> the flexibility of having two levels of basically snapshots, right, mm -hmm. uh, is great. The way I've, I decided I was going to exploit this two-level system until further notice, um, until I've tried it for a while and I know it's good as this. I name my session main session now. Mm -hmm. So Everyman main session. And then... One version may be production and production and production. Um, and so I would use a version for major shifts. Mm -hmm. So for example, uh, version one is going to be production. It's going to be called production. And it's going to have production 1.0 and production 1.1 when I change something major. Yeah. Um, and then I will do a, a save version as and have a mix thing. So it would be like Fab Mix 1.0. And then if I do this and I come back tomorrow, I will save a new version in Fabbix 1.1. Mm -hmm. Within those versions, uh, if there's several, within those uh, versions, if there's several snapshots I need, I'll use bookmarks. Yeah. And that way I can invent that. I can keep my brain to know that if it's a new version, it's a major thing. Mm -hmm. But for example, within uh, the, the work, I could say, okay, we like where the mix is at right now. Bookmark it. Yep. We like this. So Command S. We like this. <laughs> that's, like, that's what I. That's what I've been doing. I'm, just, I'm using bookmarks. I'm not giving them formal names anymore. It's just like a quick little description of what moment I'm at, or like yeah. you know, just got the vocal sound I like, or you know, the drums are cool here, but I want to try something like I kind of write because it just becomes notes to yourself, right? Your especially exactly. book bookmarks are not seen by anybody. Versions, you know, when you open up the session, you can see at the top of Fab Session now it says Fab Mix 1.0. When you mm -hmm. do uh, bounce to disk, when you export this file, it'll automatically have FabMix 1.0. So it's automatically using the version name as as part of your naming structure. But, but mm -hmm. bookmarks are just for you. They're just for you to have a point to get back to if you want to be adventurous and try something or if you just kind of want to leave yourself a, a little narrative along the way of like, how did this mix progress? How was I feeling? Maybe I go back to you know, mm -hmm. 30, 40 minutes ago and want to see what that's like. It, it gives you that ability to check in on uh, different stages of progress. Exactly. And and the thing is, uh, we use bookmarks for um, deliverables. Mm -hmm. So within uh, FabMix, you know, 73.5, the 750th recall of the song, we're done. Everybody's happy. The artist is cool. Usually the way I make absolutely sure there's going to be no recalls, I wait, I wait until mastering. Yeah. But that doesn't always work. I just got a recall after mastering last week. So um, <laughs> it's okay. And once that's done, then you bookmark. And then you have a, you have a bookmark that says, okay, acapella. And a bookmark that says um, instrumental. So you don't have to go do the work. If you want to do it again, you can hit that bookmark within FabMix 
75.3, you hit the the um, the acapella bootmark, and everything is done. If you need to do another version, it's pretty nice. Yeah, it's nice. So that's what. So we just save the bootmark and say we like this. Mm -hmm. I hope we like this. Do I, we like this? It's like yeah, hopefully, hopefully you like. I, I'm lo I'm loving it over here. It's uh, it's Great. amazing how with like very it feels like very little moves you've already kind of developed the sound of it. it it's gotten clear like each track is now getting its there's own very space. little going on there's so little going very. on but man the definition and clarity of each track and the depth that you're kind of creating as an ensemble uh it's there without notice i've noticed a, a very serious lack of lots of compressors lots of EQ, like there's just not a ton of processing really needed. i'm not i'm not trying to make this loud i'm trying to make this deep and vibey you know mm -hmm. and needs a nemesis also if we want to look at the um the actual um dynamic range of this we can nice. and needs a nemesis a desert that he cannot cross to keep the soul in wonder the belly it's kind of perfect and then uh, let's just go somewhere where it gets loud happiness I mean, this is maybe one or two dB softer than what I would have to deliver a pop record at, mm -hmm. you know? And there's no compression. Yeah. And, um, so the, the limiters taking care of that. So now the limiter is working. Um, you know, offensive things at all. It yeah, sounds like it's not, it's not, it's not hurting. It's, uh... oh. Happiness. yeah, it's great. And then you see that both the Neve Summing and the ATR are well within their um, happiness range. Happiness. If I want to ease up, I can. Now I have my balance, right? And then I know that my uh, summing and my ATR are in the right spot. I can ease up. I can say, okay. Uh, so this is this is the important thing. Say I want to back up a couple of dBs. Now you're going to listen to it two dB softer. Mm -hmm. Your first reaction is going to be that it's not as good. Yeah. So what you have to do is you raise your monitors two dBs. Everybody, everybody at home, turn up your volume knobs. Just one, probably two one DBs. click. Yeah, two dBs. Yeah, one click, one click ish, uh, and then listen to it again. Is that what the limited did is it provided some of the shaving off the edges right mm -hmm. so to me right now when i listen to this i miss some of what it was doing i like the definition but i miss what some of what it was doing uh -huh. so maybe we try in between five him soar on every man and if i go back to six let's do five um and go from there nice um that's what What's, I, I, like uh, this. I was like, what's uh, so we, we've kind of got the the core of the tracks here now. So mm -hmm. essentially, yeah. it's getting the all the background vocals and the strings and horns to now. Exactly. Complement. I think we could release this. We could release this as a record. This mm -hmm. is a good song. Um, we need to move. 
uh, maybe open the reverb up on the um, on the chorus and stuff like that. But before we go to that, let's um, the chorus was relying on doubles, so mm -hmm. let's open those. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna edit this um, this group. I think I should edit this group uh, and pull them out of the group. Should I do that? Let's see. I think that um, when Oliver got the session, some of the MIDI uh, went flying a little because I have the firm belief that this should be playing the whole course. You know what is that? Um, and I sent the um, I sent the session to Oliver before versions were a thing, so I was not able to secure my versions in peace. Let's see. This this is moved. Um, I will um, fix it by doing a classic copy paste. The old copy paste. Yes. Um, like this. This makes more sense. So now I can go back to focusing on my background vocals. I was a little <laughs> over a little overzealous with the with the group assignment there. Yes, <laughs> I have no fear. Uh, I'm gonna call this one doubles, and put this in like this. And I did something silly. What it is, I don't know yet. No, this is right. Um, so cool. Uh, let's see. Happiness has left the footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. Um, and I'm removing the the doubles from the background vocal group so that I can work in peace here and maybe give them their own space. Happiness has left their footprints in the sand. Suffering is serve a purpose at a uh, the DSO would be very useful. Mm -hmm. Happiness has left their footprints in the sand. Suffering is serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. And that's the curse of every man. Happiness has left their footprints in the sand. As you can see, I um, selected inserts as one of the parameters of the group for the lead and the triple, for the mm -hmm. double and the triple. And I put the Oxford on it, it put it on both. And then when I raise, the filter on one, erase the filter on the other. It's really great to have that. Happiness has left the footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. So I'm high passing the background vocals so they don't take so much space and they can just be nice support. I'm see what they sound like with a little compression. Happiness has left the footprints in the sand. What if they went into the spring? What? What if they did that what? without permission? Oh Yet to understand That's the 
curse of every man. That ain't bad. Every man. It's nice. Um, so we had this thing called ooh. Um, actually, why don't we? Yes, we have these oohs, uh, which go to the ooh bus. This is the ooh bus. And the oohs sound like this. So I know that they are too thick, so I'm going to copy the, the Oxford. And I don't think I need a compression on that. And I think I'm going to do spring on this too. And it would sound like this. And then to be able for them to be more discernible without making them too much louder, I'm going to raise the high end. I feel like putting a phaser on this. What do we have for <laughs> phaser? Uh, who makes a phaser in our collection? Uh, a good one. A good phaser. There's, so I mean, the, the MXR flanger doubler gets a little phasey. There's a cyclonic. Uh, ah, no, yes. That's, that thing's silly. Yeah. Let's do that. Okay. Where is he? Hi. Uh, I know how to do cyclone. Yeah. Uh, it's like the do desonic or something like that. That's uh, it core. The, this I'm gonna do something with this. This is cool. I love it when you get what you want like that <laughs> so fast. I love it. This is great. Gives it this weird er thing, and so now they have their space and they're not fighting the rest. I love this, this is great. So cool, sold. Um, don't need to save, Luna <laughs> saves for you. Um, so this synth climb is a bit much. Uh, I like the, the filter of it, it's just too loud. Mm -hmm. So um, we should go to uh, the volume and automate that. That's fine. Do 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 snap. Do 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 do. Like that. All the sauce from that bridge comes from the strings now. 
Um, and then uh, let's listen to this. Amen. That's Will. And that's the curse of every man. All right, so let's put all this stuff in a group. Uh, uh, so how do you pick and choose between when you want to bust things together to share processing like this versus just using the groups and copying the inserts across uh, multiple tracks? That is a very good question. Um, what went through my head? I wanted to send, I wanted it to this moment. What went through my head is I would like all this to be easy to manage and mm -hmm. to sound like one thing. Mm -hmm. So I made a, I made a, I was in the process of making a bus. Yeah. Which um, kind of assists with like bringing things together, being able to, you know, compress, yeah. EQ them as one. And then you end up with a, a single fader that now gives you this, like, how much of those yeah. do I need throughout the course? And also I can put the master tape on it. Mm -hmm. uh, and the Neve. Yeah. Happiness has left our footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand. But it does need um, the DSR, big time. So I'm going to put it on the mix bus first, the sub mix bus, if you will. Happiness has left our footprints in the sand. Suffering to serve a purpose that I'm yet to understand That's the curse of every man See? Amen. Happiness Oh, sorry. Oh, I got lost again. So uh, here the point was to try and keep the pocket going mm -hmm. while adding more layers, but to not yeah. have it caked in. Um, the other thing was to make this this um, choir, if you will, um, not overpower the lead vocal, but to uh, provide support for it. Mm -hmm. Like it's like a bunch of people like whispering behind him. So I try and lo-fi them by using the ATR um, a 250 tape, um, slow speed, tiny tape. Happiness is left in footprints in the sand. Happiness is left in footprints. Becomes more present. 
happiness is leather footprints in the sand. By the way, when you DS back on vocals, especially if somebody sends you a printed stereo pair of background vocals mm -hmm. and the S's are of the top. If the background vocals are really uh, doubling something else, you can be crazy on a DSer because the lead will take care of the S. Yeah. You know, there's nothing more annoying than listening to a track on headphones and on the chorus, like, uh -huh. yeah, right into the left, right. Really don't like that. So I tend to be um, not super metrosexual with the, um, <laughs> with the yeah. DSer on background vocals. So that was the, the rationale behind that. And then I copied them, the compressor to just put them back a little mm -hmm. uh, and give them more steadiness. So the whole thing round, uh, like rolls, kind of like a, a, a pack of things. This this is, for some reason, in my, my personal taste, my fantasy is to make mixes where everything is just so defined. Mm -hmm. And you can he hear everything. You can almost touch everything. That's my natural instinct. Uh, in this particular case, I think it needs to be a little messier, a little rounder, a little more buoyant, mm. um, to and not so documentary and and like pinpointing. Um, and um, and I think we're that that's that's been my instinct on this for some reason, which I'll think about later. Um, why am I feeling this way on this? I don't know, but I am definitely feeling this way on this. Mm -hmm. Top. I gotta fix this. This is driving me crazy. That second snare. No, oh. it's actually not the snare. It's the guitar. Nothing. A little nudge can't help. Somebody had too much coffee. <laughs> it could not possibly be me. <laughs> Might have been, must, must have been that guitar player. We'll we'll never work with him again. It's not my fault. <laughs> I didn't do it. This has been driving me crazy for weeks. Now <laughs> I fixed it. Ah. Happiness again. Every man needs a nemesis. A desert that he cannot cross. Oh. To keep the soul in wonder, the belly must have hunger. He needs the vultures. I'd like to try one more thing. Vi was all felt great until the vocal came in. I was like, uh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. So, what if we had a little something like this? Uh, call it slap it's not mm. going to be a real slap but it's going to have a, a slappy vibe slap like qualities yes uh so uh and i want it to be like super dark so let's try that and let's do but also i would just want to highlight too the the process that you're now in like you've kind of got almost all the elements cooking in in the mix mm -hmm. went back to the top started fresh again and then it's almost like you got to listen to it for the first time so now that vocal yeah. it's it struck you as like oh no it's actually it's i liked it 10 minutes ago in the in the chorus but here at the beginning it's not special enough so it needs yeah that's what, what bothered me is that it was a, a little academic sounding to me it didn't have a real kind of i don't know vibe it felt like oh it, it's, it was all very correct um but I, I didn't feel like i was listening to something special and needs a nemesis now that's special <laughs> you know what i'm saying yeah the black hole of delay <laughs> and needs a nemesis a desert that he cannot cross to keep the soul in wonder the belly must now that is interesting to me Mm -hmm. And needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross, to keep the soul in wonder, the belly must have hunger, he needs the vultures. Every man needs an Everest, a mountain that he... Do you think you, I would get hate mail if um 
I may, uh, but if I use like the panner here, <laughs> is that again? It's against the rules, right? No, dude, I, I don't know. I, this is weird that you keep, you've pulled up uh, two of the the Ditronic plugins. I've been geeking on these for like the last couple of weeks, especially the panner. Oh, I just, I just, I. Hmm. It's so it much, is very it, it, it makes the stereo feel just so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I don't, so at this plugin, I don't really know that well. Well, that's a little over the top. Mm -hmm. um, so let's see. Uh, ooh la la, look at all that stuff. Pong pong. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, we were made for each other. <laughs> yeah, you complete me. All right, let's see. Um, but just for that one thing. Um, oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is going to be awesome. How about, would it benefit from here? Sorry. Every man. Woo! Mama. Uh, what if it's a little faster? Every man. It was more interesting like this. Wow. This is awesome. Um, so could it go like this? Oh, yes, it could. Oh, yes, it could. Mm -hmm. Absolutely could do that. That would be perfectly fine. Mm -hmm. So, but only for that moment. So we're going to go here. And I haven't done this before, but here's the panner. Um, there should be a power. It might be, it might be the one oh, labeled okay. effect. Okay. Effect on off. Yeah. Uh, we already have that, but this time I want to see the pattern and I want to see the effect. And so now it's going to be on here and off here. I'm still not used to this. Uh, let's see. So, I mean, for, for an on off thing like this, probably the easiest way would be to select all the area that you want to do and then oh, yeah, that's right, pull down, it, so, especially since this one you're not trying to do a curve. I am not trying to do a curve. I just want it to turn on and off. I'm hearing stuff. Is it in your? Yeah. Okay. The joy, working from home. The, it's my wife <laughs> in the other room. Who is not working from home? And <laughs> right. can I can I do that? Wait, no. I set up my whole life to work from home. Hold on. Uh, there you go. In theory, yes. You must have every man needs an Everest. That is just sexy. <laughs> okay, cool. Man, the pan the, the panner it, it's a trip, man. You you should play with that one more often because it also it oh, not only it not only does left to right, but you can do the you see how it's got the LEDs to go behind you. It can do crazy face stuff. Right. I, uh, I just wanted this to be a little just mm -hmm. a little cheesy in a good way. Yep. No, cheese is good. I mean, you know, you know what I mean. Cheese is good. Uh, let's see how it feels from a distance. To keep the head humble, oh, yeah. the hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. to know what would happen if I use a little bit of the API 2500 on the next bus. So that when the chorus comes in, it pushes against something. Because right now it just kind of like whoosh. Uh, so. mm -hmm. Perfect, tasteful and everything. That's <laughs> oh, <laughs> perfect. Mm -hmm. Happiness has got the footprints in the sand. Yet to understand. That's the 
promises A desert that he cannot cross And needs a nemesis A desert that he And needs a nemesis a desert that he cannot cross. So what it does is it basically allows to line up things a little more. It's subtle, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, but then on the, when the chorus comes, we go from here. Comfortable. Sounds good, but uh, we lose a little bit of the pocket. Mm -hmm. And so, with the compressor, with a wide open attack and the the link, which means the side chain being um, high passed, mm -hmm. then it's not going to react to the bass drum as much, and thus it's going to let the pocket stay anchored. If you listen to the bass drum and snare drum relationship in the verse and the chorus, they are they stay um, family. Whereas without the compressor, I lose a little bit of that bite uh, on the chorus. And from trouble and from trouble you can't be comfortable I like the hands from trouble. You can't be comfortable. See, I dig it. Command S. <laughs> Command S, exactly. Um, that feels good. Like when my body hits the Command S, that means that, you know, <laughs> this feels good. And so when I say it's too much, uh, we got to be clear, it's too much for my taste. This is where some people would start and mm -hmm. they get really great results. This is what my aesthetic likes. If you like more compression, it's all good. Yeah. Well, and this is, just, uh, it's, that's kind of the nice thing about putting it on at this stage, right? Is that we've now, you've now been, we've been sitting here listening to it for a couple of hours. Like we're, we've been building it towards something that we like. And now you identify a real need to actually put a mix bus compressor on to put something yeah. there. Uh, my to, original, uh, yeah, sorry to cut you off. My original ego driven uh, bullshit attitude was like, I'm going to mix this without a compressor. Mm hmm. You know, and then and depending on the choices and, you know, whatever I have for breakfast this morning, uh, which was nothing, actually, um, <laughs> then um, um, I may or may not have gotten to where I wanted to be. Yeah. But what I'm hearing is pushing me in that direction. Like I, I wanted to hear this steadiness coming on the on the chorus. And I could have achieved that <clears throat> a couple of ways. Number one, what I just did, or maybe automating the drums up a half dB on the chorus, and it would have done that. But I also like, I really, this is a new discovery of mine. I, I really like the sound of this plugin. Mm -hmm. um, so all my recent mixes, I've, I've had this on them, um, yeah. and I really yeah. dig it. I used to have nothing, then I used to have the Oxford, then I used to have nothing. Mm -hmm. Then I tried the SSL in parallel for a while, and that did well. Um, and like all the little Zui record is all, all the SSL. Yeah. Because that's kind of the sound of that stuff. Mm -hmm. but then lately I've been making um, maybe a little more um, know, dirtier records. So I've been I've been pushing this a little, and I like it. I like it. I mean, these are all, all shades. Nobody is say, "Oh yeah, pff, the twenty five hundred on this mix." Yeah, well, you know, <laughs> well, um, that's where he, that's where he really messed up the sound. Yeah, this is pretty much the end of the world right there. Uh -huh. um, but uh, but that's not, you know, I. At this point, this is what I felt um, mm -hmm. I needed that. In theory, you should really start 
mixing into your compressor the minute you put transients through your mix, just so you, you don't end up with a pancake later. Yeah. But because we have this, you know, providential um, headroom here, mm -hmm. everything is extremely civilized right now. So if we go towards the end of the song where it gets loud. still basically in the same realm but maybe now we can go back one db on the limiter and give mm -hmm. ourselves back the headroom since we're not trying to make an insanely loud hip-hop record um this is cool yeah, um so well and especially too because like the neve and the atr were already giving you some of that glue action too so absolutely you know, you've, yeah you've you haven't so, you've been mixing into some colors and then you kind of hear an opportunity to uh to give it a little bit more so you know it's the, kind of the perfect time to adjust on a global level as opposed to you know swimming mm -hmm. upstream and and adjusting the you know having to automate the drums or do something else to give you that effect yeah and also you know this is not you know, we're gonna mix this hundred track song in two hours. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not like um, we're not necessarily super detail oriented. Uh, it's a broad strokes vibe. Yeah. But if you check it out. Uh, without the Neve, so with the Neve. And then uh, without the Neve and the ATR. Sounds totally dull with the two of them. me to do a little sum sum i like how everything sits mm -hmm. i just would be very interested to know what happens if i give a little bit of transient action on back on the kick other option which i've been thinking about for a moment mm -hmm. is to um oh uh, he's finally doing it he's finally doing it i see it i'm not doing it loud <laughs> uh, <laughs> uh so i'm my key commands are all out of my mind so i'm just going to do it in a way that i know is going to be great um Here you go. Yes, definitely. And um, I want to put the 160 on this. No, wrong place. 160 and take this out. So now we're going to assign um, this guy to the 160 and this guy to the 160. And we're going to listen to the 160. And so using the parallel 
compression uh, on just the drums. And needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross. To keep the soul in wonder, the belly must have hunger. He needs the vultures. Is that punch on the um, the bass drum that I'm looking for? So because there's so much stuff going on, let me mute other stuff so that we can hear without Like this by itself. So it's adding that transit to the bass drum by because the 160 itself is a slow compressor, right? And mm -hmm. so, um, and so it's not fast enough to catch that transient. It catches right after. So with the compression, the transient becomes interestingly sounding more prominent. And then you blend that back in, and then it's. Nice. I can even compress it a little more. With the drums and that. Yeah. The push. It's got that really, yeah, it's got that real bad boy quality. Uh huh. Yeah, it just get, it gives the kick in the kick in the rim just that little bit of a little bit of knock. Yeah, I'm very interested to know what would happen. You never know. You never know. You never know if I put the bass in it too. Um, I don't know how to count to 160. Hold on, there you go. With the rest of the rhythm section. A little too thick. Without the 160 on the bass. No, it's going to be great. Just less of it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so that works. Um, and uh, let's look at, i do a first pass of looking at the strings and others, unless there's a question from my bewildered audience. Dude, they're, they're just watching in awe. I, I've actually checked in with the guys. It was like, it, the chat seems really quiet. They're just all quietly watching and learning. Uh, okay. Lots of people really loving the, loving the info and tips um, so far as well. Okay, cool. So let's look at, um, can we bring the strings um, into this vibe? Mm -hmm. We better. <laughs> we got them. A desert that he cannot cross To keep the soul in wonder The belly must have hunger He needs the vultures and Every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb The head humble, the hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable.
All right. So I don't think we can be that literal on the strings. I think that we need to do a little. You're going to have to pop um, them up a little bit, right? Yeah. Or pop them down. Um, like mm -hmm. give them um, a reason to complain. So let's see. I'm thinking just like. Uh, yeah. Hold on. There was one of the tapes. There you go. That is lame. Let's try the lame thing. So that's more like it. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just going, you went to what, a 3.5? Uh, three point oh sorry three point five like the slowest possible speed mm -hmm. and the, the the smallest possible tape and then pushing um, it the, cranking pushing the record it as hard as is, possible on the input yeah yeah it man it just it, it chills them out in such a cool way like instantly yeah Let's see if the low impedance works here too. Funnily enough, it sounds more real now. Mm -hmm. Which is not supposed to be that, but. <laughs> so we need um, compression um, to make it even more like. Um, so I think actually a 2500 on this would do great. crazy now what i do let me see what's going on Best part of the whole song um, when the orchestra comes and do -do 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 -do. on that part that uh, Lewis improvised. That's pretty awesome. I want to get perspective from the beginning. Oh, yeah. So those little lines are just not loud enough. Um, let's see. Who are you and <laughs> what is he to you? Uh, this <clears throat> violas, I think it's the high strings that I'm, this guy. I think this guy needs to be louder. We make it a little louder. Mm -hmm. 
Last night, um, I muted this cello part. It just felt like a little too happy. Let's see the violas. Mm. I like it better without a violas. It's actually kind of where like thinness help it helps it, right? Where like yeah. kind of yeah. going down to just a, a smaller part playing that. Uh, it was a little too pretty, I think. Mm -hmm. uh, and then this, but when the violas, when they hit the note at the end, the violas are cool. Every man needs a nemesis, a desert that he cannot cross to keep the soul in wonder. The belly must have hunger. He needs the vultures. Every man needs an every. So that um, synth is bananas, but it needs to be quieter here. The things you only find out with distance. Um. A mountain Every man needs an Everest A mountain that he cannot climb To keep the head humble The hands from trouble You can't be comfortable Well, is it a little loud here? So... We are going to um, bring bring him down a little bit in that one moment. Mm -hmm. and of course, Here. there's like five different ways to do it, right? You can, you can yes. change the volume on the tracks. So you can change the clip. You can change the volume of the group. Uh, What's important is to keep it consistent mm -hmm. so that when you want to change it later, you know where it is. Exactly. Otherwise, it's endless game of a treasure treasure hunt. It's like, where did it? I Not fine. <laughs> yeah, something is racing. Not climb to keep the head humble, the hands from trouble. You can't be comfortable. I dig that. Uh, let me check what this is doing. Not climb to keep the head humble. The hands from trouble, you can't be comfortable. I think I'm going to get rid of that one synth hit. Um, At the end of the chorus or? Yeah. Just to make like, whoa, uh, which one is it? Um, little tambo shake into the verse yeah i think we we're gonna keep it stark mm -hmm. not because stark was french that's not why man. every man needs an element i fear that he may lose control 
the heart sacred escape the mazes it must be vulnerable so i love the vibe that the um low impedance uh, gives or maybe it's the tape i haven't decided yet mm -hmm. on the strings but i think it's just too much it's distracting every time now i'm feeling ah mm -hmm. it feels too much so let's figure out what it is Was the low impedance? Let's see in the sauce. Every man needs an element. I fear that he may lose control. The heart sacred escape the mazes it must be vulnerable. Happiness. So let's see if the sauce would help. Every man needs an element. I fear that he may lose control. To keep the heart sacred, escape the mazes, it must be vulnerable. I'm thinking that for the pickup, uh, and you'll see it here, the pickup to the second chorus that maybe this is cool Keep the mazes must be vulnerable but we don't need the full arsenal and uh, especially not the clarinets and there's vulnerable vulnerable it's a better look vulnerable I think I know what's bothering me. Uh, what's bothering me is this stuff is not grooving right. Let's see, sorry. Uh, Fab, just a quick time check here. I've, I've got to oh. got to wrap up here pretty soon. Uh, oh, I'm know. just getting started. We're just getting to the good stuff, but you know from kind of from this point it, it seems like we're kind of getting censorship. Into, it's censorship it's, it's censorship yep exactly it's a man trying to keep you keep you down but it, from here it's it's kind of fine to, you know we've seen kind of the broad strokes and yep. now it's, it's kind of details and elements and uh, i love seeing how you know thinning out the because you, you're still able to play with the arrangement side of things while also yes. automating and mixing uh and mm -hmm. kind of bringing all these elements together to create a cohesive thing right Yes. Well, at this point, because I'm happy with the tones of everything, um, the idea is that I'm going to squeeze in this part of the process. My job is to squeeze every ounce of interest and vibe and drama out of it without losing the pocket and without losing Lewis's presence mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the, you know, the spirit of the song. So, um, you know, what I was going to show <laughs> is uh, this. that the chorus will benefit from not having this at all and let the strings be the strings and mm -hmm. the woodwinds I use the i'll use the clarinets uh, for the pickup 
that's cute. Uh, but actually, it's benefiting. It's um, contributing to. We don't have the downbeat, so we may have to lose those two. We'll see. And this gotta go. Et voilà. So, um, what do we propose we do with the time we have? How much time do we have? Uh, I can't. Uh, technically, we I'm don't a have bit, any. Time. Yeah, technically, I'm a little bit late to to the shoot already. <laughs> All but, right. Uh, this... uh, so, should we um, um, see if Lewis wants to come down and listen with us? And obviously, I'm not done mixing this. So I'm going to mix. I'm going to finish this mix, mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, and then this very session is going to go on Spotify. On Spotify, well, the result, the export, stereo export from this very session is going to go to Spotify, and you guys will be able to listen to this final song on Spotify. We're also going to make this into a, a Luna session, yeah, um, an artist session. That you'll be able to download. So you'll so you be, able, will be to able to get there and get your fingers dirty with uh, with all fabs settings yeah, and, and then with all the settings and all the midi mm -hmm. um and we'll also print the the violence for those of you who don't have the spitfire stuff yep um and we'll print the synth for those of you who don't have the i think it was the no you have shape so everybody yeah, has shape so we'll shape, leave the media yeah. for that. um and um so, and you'll have a raw session and a session with all the plugins um and um voila that so i want to keep working on this now mm -hmm. yeah, keep, um, and keep fine tuning something. on it yep yeah, yeah. I mean, I have to do the bridge still. We haven't even listened to the bridge. But before we go, is there one burning question? Uh, let me look. I uh, want to make sure. Da, da, da. Uh, for the Apollo setup that you're working with right now, it's if I'm correct, it's two X16s and an X4, correct? That's it. And the reason, yes. And the reason why I have the two X16s is because every synth you see in the back of this room and also on the side that you don't see is connected in real time to the back of an X16 with a bump box, which means that if I want to play my CS80 and turn it on and I play it, mm -hmm. I don't have to launch anything because the console lets me play real time. And also I can process my synths on the way into any doll. So if it's me working, they said they're going to be right now since anything live I will do with Luna. Um, if you know whomever Frank Ocean comes in this room, he plugs his computer in or whatever DAW he uses, um, and then he has access to all the synths in real time. That's why I have the two X16s in here. Nice, uh, really important question. When uh, when is this expected for release on Spotify? No later than very soon. <laughs> so, I knew that. Uh, there were some good comments uh, at the, right at the beginning of the show. People were checking out Nezreen's record, uh, which yes. is on Spotify now. It's starting to come out. I think the 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 there's um Risala is out, the first single. Mm -hmm. And then um and then the uh the whole album is coming out on the thirtieth. This is a great example to go to Spotify because you've heard it here in, you know, three twenty decent quality, you know, um thing. Go listen to it on Spotify and compare. Yeah. See what Spotify yeah. is doing to us. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because uh, that one there was there was no difference really between what we showed on the show and what went to Spotify. The file that came out of the export that came out of Luna is mm -hmm. what is on Spotify, as promised. There yeah. was no mastering, nothing. I just sent what you last saw on the show is on Spotify. Yeah, that's rad. And yeah, it's cool. Nice. Uh, but you see that it 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 it's um it adds its own vision of your mix mm -hmm. on Spotify. <laughs> it <Yeah>. does. <laughs> Yeah, it's it's a it's an interesting moment every time for me. Right. Yeah. yeah. Um, nice. Well, yeah, Fab man, this has been really cool to see see this process unfold in real time, uh, not just today, but overall for seeing how the song all comes together, and then super interesting to see how you bring all these elements together, and which just like uh, you know little touches, man. It, it is so cool to see how like little processing it takes to bring that detail and clarity to the tracks um but it's mm -hmm. just you know you can tell it's just all your it's the consideration that you're putting in for each one of them that kind of helps them stand out in their own way yeah it's easier when you have lewis uh but in, mm -hmm. in the, unless you're doing sound design or unless you're really really screwed up while you were doing the production you shouldn't have to do too much why reinvent the wheel you just want it to be um sublimized or like um enhanced but you there's no need to go for the other side of the planet. Um, yeah. And the only other side of the planet here is those strings because they need to be so striking. You know, that's why all this, this is a heavier processing that I would do on strings, but mm -hmm. it's cool. They, they bring a nice vibe. Nice. 
Awesome. Well, Fab, man, thank you so much for uh, for taking us through this today, and uh, really stoked with not only where the mix is now, but I'm also stoked to to hear the final final uh, after uh, you and Lewis get together and and kind of polish yes. it up. Um, yep. Thank you, everybody, for tuning in. I uh, hope you guys learned a lot. Uh, this was a really great experience to see mixing in action happening completely live. Uh, and if you guys still have questions about Luna 1.1, some of the new features, uh, Thursday morning we're going to be doing a deep dive show. Uh, me, Matt, and Drew are going to go through all the different features, try to explain absolutely every element of all those features. So if you have any questions about session versions, bookmarks, track groups, MIDI sync, uh, or just anything uh, that was new here in one one. We're going to be covering all that in detail Thursday morning at 10 a.m. Uh, so be sure to tune in for that show. And with that, uh, thank you everybody for uh, for joining us, and everybody have a great rest of your day. Peace. <laughs>